More Facebook drama from Congressman Michael Sinicolas. This time in a harshly worded post, Delegate Sinicolas taking issue with Governor Lou Leon Guerrero reportedly saying U.S. senators are, quote, not familiar with H.R. 1365. That's the technical corrections bill that would allow for war claims payments from Section 30 funds. Sinicolas writes on Facebook, quote, what a horrible untruth to say to our people. We have been engaging Senate leadership and staff for weeks. Even the Republicans were out here weeks before Josh and Tony were talking with Senate staff, so saying they aren't familiar is a flat-out lie. Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio and Adeloup Chief of Staff Tony Babauta were in Washington, D.C. to lobby senators to pass H.R. 1365. The governor also said she's hoping for a November passage of the measure. Delegate San Nicholas has not responded to requests for information on the status of 1365, but according to GovTrack, a popular congressional information site, H.R. 1365 has just a 22 percent chance of being enacted. The measure was referred to the Senate's Judiciary Committee. San Nicholas has not released any status update on the measure publicly, and there are no pictures or posts of him lobbying the Senate. But in his Facebook post, he writes, quote, We are well aware of a possible November passage of this bill, but are not making any announcements so as not to create false hopes. San Nicholas also took issue with Adeloup's lobbying efforts, posting, quote, Quit wasting taxpayer dollars to fly your staff around D.C., pretending to do the work of my office. It's not only a waste of money, it's making Guam look bad. We asked the governor for a comment, and she said, quote, Senate officials told us they were unfamiliar with the measure. We can either fix that together or argue about it on Facebook. My choice is to try and fix it. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.